TLC, short for The Learning Channel, is a TV network that was initially made to educate and teach content, but nowadays has been morphed into this hyper-reality TV. So instead of learning about, I don't know, hydrocarbons, you get to watch a woman eat a brick. My name's Teresa. I'm 44 years old. I live in Bedford, Virginia. Pretty day today. And I'm addicted to eating rocks. Hey, Teresa. You stay away from my supreme brick that I definitely overpaid for, or there's gonna be trouble. The revolutionary toy of the year. No, no, I don't think so. That may have been the revolutionary toy of the year during the Great Depression. I bought that just for the skit, by the way. Quarantine got me bad, bro. How's everyone doing? It's been a minute. Uh, I, I don't know about you guys, but quarantine... Yeah, it kind of got my hair a bit long now. I'm kind of too much of a coward to shave it all off, so I've just uh, kind of stuck to wearing a cap indoors all the time now. Yankee with brim! <laughs> now, I get it, alright? TLC, very low-hanging fruit. But, I'm willing to put all that aside, because today's TLC video is about the joy of marriage. The series is called 90 Day Fiancé. The premise is that a non-American woman gets a visa, comes into America and spends 90 days with the love of her life. And we find out if love truly does bloom on a battlefield. Today we're going to be talking about Ed, a man so popular, if you type 90 Day Fiancé into the search bar right now, he will come up as the first result. Why? Not because of PewDiePie, shut up. Because Ed matters. In a few days, I'm getting ready to get on a plane and go meet Rose, the love of my life, for the very first time. What a gentle man. Big Chungus Wholesome 100. <laughs> but Ed has a dark secret, and it is called Hellman's Low Fat Mayonnaise. 15 calories, one gram of fat per serving. I'm super excited because I also bought a ring, and I plan to ask Rose to marry me. I could just see everyone roasting him now, like, Ew, why, why are you putting condiments in your hair? Cringe. Well, you know what? He at least has the hairline to put anything in it. Have you- have you seen this? Have you seen- I've probably got about two years left, Max. But you know what? That's probably double as much time as you have left. Ooh, roasted. My subscriber count is now halved. Since I met Rose, I- I want to look young for her. Yeah, <laughs> the tan line on his chest. He just reminds me of the ice cream man from <laughs> Lilo and Stitch. So I have been dyeing my hair and it irritates my scalp, so. So instead of maybe just not dyeing my hair, <laughs> I'm gonna rub it full of mayonnaise. Mayonnaise makes it smoother and less dry. Yeah, the, uh, the, the dryness would tend to go away when you, you smother it in liquid. Fact of the day, by the way, mayonnaise is technically a liquid, not a solid. And they say YouTubers know nothing. I smell like an egg salad sandwich. The way he says that, like, it, like it's a question. Hmm. I'm not sure why people say I smell like mayonnaise. It's not like I've been applying it to my hair for the past 10 minutes or something. I'm self-conscious of my physical appearance. Come on, man, Ed, honestly, nothing is wrong with your appearance. Honestly, like, if, if you drop the low-fat mayo, toned up a bit, I'm thinking a solid A. There's actually some pictures of Ed floating around the internet when he was a lot younger, and oh, I'd smash. Because Rose is 31 years younger than me. I, I feel that we jumped in the deep end a little bit here, so... Let's pull the rod back, start from the beginning, where we're first introduced to Ed. I'm Ed. I'm 54 years old. People know me as Big Ed. I'm from San Diego, California. Why do they call him Big Ed? Because he has a big heart. And I am a professional photographer. Oh my God, right there. Right there, beautiful. That's perfect, oh my God. Fantastic. My height is something that I'm very self-conscious of but it's something that I've been able to overcome because I'm Big Ed. You know what, Ed? I respect your struggle. Man, let's rise up. My track record with relationships is not very good. I was married for two years. Ew! You were married? Ew! <laughs> I need a minute. Listen, Ed, buddy, the, the mayo, the, the Matrix Jack that you've got in the back of your head, that's all fine. But marriage? If I had anything in my life that separated me, and my Nintendo Switch. I do, I do. You can put the ring on now. It's a responsibility. And it didn't work out because I was unfaithful. Ed's heart is so big, 
He even gave it to another woman. <laughs> but I did get a beautiful daughter out of that marriage, Tiffany. She's 29 years old. Why does he look like every boomer Facebook profile picture? Can we just can we just get a compilation of like boomers with shades on? There's no difference. I expect his bio to be something like self-made entrepreneur, and then he links his drop shipping scam. <laughs> By waiting to date so long, I said to myself, I'm never gonna find love. It's me and Teddy. This is gonna be my life. There's nothing wrong with that. Imagine all the things you can do when you're not tied down to a relationship. You could watch anime. I'm sure there's at least like nine animes out there. I think Yu-Gi-Oh! just came out on Netflix. You could watch that. Video games? You could play some video games. You could play Animal Crossing, plant some flowers, buy a fake painting. You could play Rainbow Six Siege normally and still get a permanent ban. I mean, the options are limitless. But let's forget about freedom for a moment because Ed has a girlfriend. My girlfriend is Rosemary. She's 23 years old and she lives in the Philippines. She has the most amazing, deep brown eyes. <laughs> it reminds me of that, uh, that guy from the Undateables, how he was complimenting a woman's eyes. It seems your eyes are as brown as the tree trunks. That's a lovely smile you've got there. If your significant other refers to you as king, friend, You've made it in life. Being called king, it's its like incel holy water. You're in church, you, you put a coin in the donation box, priest calls you a king. That's like a ticket to super heaven. Yeah, you're a man, you're my king. You my know? I'm her king. She's my queen. <laughs> she's, my, she's my queen. Ed comes in here all the time, sending stuff internationally to his online girlfriend. I know he hasn't met her before, I think it's a, a little crazy, but it must be love if he's willing to ship all these gifts. Hey, buddy. Hey, hey. Don't criticize an online relationship. Have you paid for a significant other's... Have you paid for a significant other's Discord Nitro? I don't think so. Have you even gave a kind milady some Reddit gold? Do you even remember popular screen share app Rabbit? <laughs> I think not. Move on, my man. I have been keeping a few things from Rose. One is my height. I'm 4'11", not 5'2". You know what, man? A, a little white lie never hurt anyone. Allow me to reference a world-famous tweet that is indeed a fact I found on the internet. Any female born after 1993 can't cook. All they know is McDonald's. <laughs> Charge they phone. Twerk. Be bisexual. Eat hot chip. <laughs> and lie. Remember, gentlemen of the internet, lying is okay. And if you ever get called out for whatever reason, reference this tweet. Anyway, Ed goes to the Philippines to meet his girlfriend, the love of his life, and this interaction is... Oh my god. <laughs> How are you? How are you? Are you real? Oh my god, you're so real. Are you real? I've been playing VR chat for eight months straight. I, I don't know what's real anymore. I forgot 3D women existed. Am I what you expected? Do you like? I expected you're as tall to me. But oh, listen. more tall! <laughs> he acts like he's genuinely surprised. Like, <laughs> you're the one that led her on and lied about your height. Do you find me attractive? Attractive always. Always? Yeah. Okay. Well. Who you are. It's I, okay for me. I love you. Love you. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we're all going to be interacting once quarantine's over. No physical contact, just I love you. I love you too. Why you want two beds? Because um, I want to take it slow. Okay, you're so sweet. Yeah, I want to. I want you to feel comfortable. What well, sweetheart? Taking his time to learn and respect her boundaries. If I see a, a single simp comment on this video, I'm gonna be really angry, guys. So I'm not planning on having sex with Rose until she takes an STD test. I want to know for myself that I can trust her. Oh wait, so it's not about learning and respecting boundaries. It's so she doesn't give you a disease. <laughs> I don't blame him. Like, have you have you heard of Aid Car? It's pretty it's pretty serious, man. Hey Rose, you want to watch TV? I guess not. Hey Rose, what, what, why don't we watch some TV? Oh look, Rose, it's TLC. 
Uh, look, uh, there's a woman that can't stop eating her deceased husband's ashes. Lameo. Cringe. Glad that's not us, right, Rose? Well, you keep, you keep eating because you need your energy. Because today, I want to take you shopping and kind of spend some one-on-one -on -one time just before I meet your family. Yeah, Rose. I just want to, you know, a little bit of one-on-one -on -one time. Me, you, Paul running camera one, Craig operating camera two, Shelly, the director of each scene, and Michael, the boom mic man. It's just going to be one-to-one, -one, you know? But first, you're at your job working at the power plant. All seems normal. But now, some incels broke into the plant and is threatening to blow the whole place up. My name is not important. Authorities have detained him peacefully, but there's a problem. You've forgotten your passcode. You tried to contact your wife on Facebook, but you've forgotten your password. You tried to contact your wife's son on Instagram, but you've forgotten your password. You even tried to recover your email, but you've forgotten your password. You tried to log onto your YouTube account to upload a video crying for help, but invalid password. Now the incel has won, and everyone will die a virgin. Dashlane could have stopped all this from happening. Dashlane safely autofills and stores all of your personal info, like passwords, addresses, and mummy's credit card. On top of that, they offer a VPN service, so you won't be tracked when trying to watch Shrek 2 with Arabic subtitles. Dashlane is free to download on your first device. They also generate and manage super high-tech passwords that will keep you safe for longer including two-step verification. Go to dashlane.com forward slash pyrocynical for 25% off your first order. Please, please do it. The, the, the boomer women at the supermarket, they took the last toilet roll and now I have to go to the black market to buy more. And on a real note, if any of you wanted to support the channel via buying merch but don't have the money at the minute, this is the next best thing. Just install the app for free and I get a good boy award and hopefully some Reddit gold. Add over. The fact that Rose doesn't even have pajamas made me feel really sad. So the first thing I'm gonna do is get her pajamas. You wanna treat a girl right? Apart from getting limited edition Paracynical merch, you could also get Ninja Briefs. 100% cotton. 100% made in a sweatshop. Allegedly. Oh, yeah, nice. Oh, pink. pink. Uh -huh. Yeah. Nice. How much? 180 pesos. Give me a wallet. You can't just grab from my wallet. <laughs> okay, I wanna see how much this is. I don't even, I don't even know how much this is. How much? God damn! She went from Bell to Gaston like five seconds, bro. 180? Awesome. Keep the change. No. Yeah. No? Keep the change. It's, it's, it's at 10 pesos. Thank you. Okay. Are you okay? God, I'm dying right now. This poor guy, look. Look at how much shock he's in, man. Look, you, you've just taken money from his wallet. He's sweating so badly. It's Niagara Falls looking ass. After 30 years of marriage, shared bank account, taking money out of his wallet, that's not a problem, but you, it hasn't even, it's been about 12 hours. 12 hours. I want to buy your dress with you flowers. Want, oh, you want to buy a shirt with flowers? Yeah. yeah. Okay. You want this? Okay. 480, sir. 480, how much is that? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh my, bruh, what is going on? You can't offer to buy the man a shirt and then demand for his wallet to spend his own money. I didn't want to allude to her being like a gold digger or anything because I don't have to. Like there's a language barrier, I understand that, but I, I don't think in any country you're told yes. Take money out of his wallet. I understand there's a language barrier between these two. A lot gets lost in translation, but <laughs> wallet hold money. Money mine, not yours. I know you're tired of me asking about your past, and I don't want to do that anymore. I want to put it behind us. So there's a test that you can take. Yeah. You test me? No, yeah, a te it's, a, it's a test for... Um, for um, I don't know if you understand it. it's um, STD, which is... I don't think she has any idea what's going on. I mean, to be fair, English is my native language, and I still don't understand what he's saying. I finally understand what he said about STD test. I feel uh, hurt. I feel, oh, my heart crack. I like how her having, like, five cameras pointed at her is totally fine. There's no invasion of privacy there. But asking me to take a test... All privacy. God. We truly live in an Orwellian totalitarian state. I, I'm gonna go home on my own. You can hate my guts. I don't care about that. The only thing I care about is your safety. So, Rose, I can book you a hotel and outside of where we're staying. I can book your room at my same hotel. Book your new hotel. I, I okay. want to go to sleep and go to home on morning. Okay. <laughs> Ugh, that fake ass sniffle. <laughs>
I like how she's deeply offended, but she'll jump on the opportunity to get another free room for a night. You know, I really thought Ed was going to be the antagonist here, but this is a major plot twist. I may have lost Rose, and I feel sick to my stomach. I have to fix this. I put way too much into this relationship not to. He opens up Google Translate for his apology. I, I don't think statistically you could make a worse apology than using Google Translate as a template. Could you imagine if he just like accidentally insulted her instead? I just hope this works. Hmm. I just really hope I didn't accidentally call her a whore like last time. Maybe I should learn Filipino instead of using Google Translate for everything. So you don't ask me again for you want the test? Never. You're teaching me that I need to learn how to love. Yeah, can we can we go back to the bit where she's putting her hands through his wallet and spending his cash? Can we just go back to that for a second? Never addressed again, by the way. Like, she goes sicko mode because of a test. But when she's spending his money without his consent, that's fine. I understand that when he's asking for a test, he's insinuating that she's being unfaithful. But like, you know, she might be a carrier for something. But at the same time, in Rose's defense, Ed, you could just wear a condom. <laughs> can I have a kiss? Oh, I don't, I don't bleed. It's hurt on me. Ouch. Really? Oh, yeah. Really? Mm. Imagine having facial hair. Ever. <laughs> Fun fact, I actually have no idea if I can grow a beard or not. Like, I just, ever since I could grow facial hair, I've just shaved every second day, pretty much. It's probably a bit of OCD. That, or I don't want to be compared to a Switch user. Black hair, it just seems kind of less feminine for a woman. So it, yeah, I don't, I don't like leg hair. It's gross. Ed, Ed, Ed li listen, bro, small, small steps. You just got her back after the test. And the morning after, you're now asking her to shave her legs. I don't know, man. Maybe just have like 24 hours where you don't question her loyalty or ask her to make changes to her body. But anyway, that's not important because we now have the final boss of this adventure, Rose's dad. Here? Yeah. Okay, sure. He was so quick to jump on that as well. Like, respect the dad or possible threesome? I'm fine for either one. You're not believing? You're, you're here? I cannot believe I'm here. <laughs> I really can't believe I'm here. This is my home. This is my life. This is my ordinary life. I don't know if you guys caught that. But that was the exact second Ed just lost all hope and optimism and realizes the situation he's in. Wow. She's really not going to take that STD test, is she? What the f am I doing? This is f insane. You're tired? Yeah. Oh, f oh there was no, electricity. Don't be relaxed. It's okay. Don't panic. Great. All right, look, I added the laughter track in, but could you even tell? This entire bit is just wrote like a friend's skit or something. Men are here. <laughs> There's also a scene where Ed showers with Rose's dad. Okay. And Ed just acts like he's never been in contact with water in his life. Okay, what do we do? <laughs> Oh my God. I just want to put out there, by the way, there is a real condition where people have an allergy to water. It's called aquagenic urticaria. And I think that any person with that condition deals with water better than Ed just has here. Yes. Rose. Yes, I'm here. Oh, I dropped the soap. You thought I was going to make a joke about that? A little drop the soap gag at someone's expense. Shame on you for having such a dirty mind. Oh, okay. take care of yourself. Okay. Right there, okay. Oh, God. Okay, okay. Okay. All right, sorry. Oh, don't bite me. I do love Ed. He's just incompetent in, like, every possible way. Yeah, pigs, please don't bite me in your one meter by 50 centimeter cage. You know, with that five centimeters of wiggle room, that's just enough to take my hand off. 
Oh, God. OK, OK. OK. All right, sorry. Take this. Just throw it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> when she said throw it, she probably meant, you know, a nice little, a little underarm throw, a little casual underarm. I have seen tomahawks in Black Ops thrown with less aggression than Ed just did with that food. But I'm not 100% sure it's true love on her end. So I need some more alone time with her before I put a ring on her finger. All right, bro. It's been like five days. You, you maybe want to slow it down a bit. I know the runtime of Shrek was only 90 minutes, but dude, you, you gotta you gotta slow it down a bit, all right? Guy's trying to do a, a speed run on his marriage. We're going on our first flight. That was your first dinner on an airplane. Yeah, this is my first dinner. So I like this. My first dinner, you know, I know this. Out. Isn't that just a pot noodle? To be fair, I do appreciate Ed being a bit more conservative here. He's getting the economy flight instead of splashing out on business. Ed, from what I've seen, can definitely have afforded business. Okay, folks, I missed my sales goal, okay? I did a million fifty thousand, and I said I would do 1.5 million. So here's what happens. So yay! I got some surprises for you. Really? Can I show you? Sure. So this is um, mouthwash, and I got you a cute toothbrush. This your breath is not um, pretty. I'm thinking there was at least 500 different ways he could have said that better, darling. I changed your toothbrush. I want to pamper you with an electric one. I started using this toothpaste. It tastes amazing. You should try it. You know, be subtle, Ed. Subvert, not a uh, drone strike. Oopsie daisy. And then I got you good toothpaste. Okay. Bruh. I'm not going to say the C word. But it's pretty, uh, pretty uncomfortable. Do you know that um, my concern is your health? Because if you get disease in your mouth, it goes to Ed, your heart. Ed, 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 you it, can it, get it's sick. Dead, bro, J dro drop it. it it's, it's gone. Just t tell her to floss and drop it, bro. I'm so insulted that I want to give a punch to Ed. I want to give a punch. I think Ed is a rude person. If Ed truly loved me, what do you mean accept you for who you are? Like you're not coming out. The guy just says your breath stinks. I swear this relationship is just already on ropes. You've got a guy who's too pushy and a girl that does not smile unless she's spending someone else's money. I love you. I love you. I love you. Does that mean I love you? I hope it means I love you. Are you are, are you gonna tell him? No. I'm not gonna tell him. I contacted the hotel and told them I want the most romantic table in this resort. And my hope is that for Rose and I to grow closer together and just relax and just kind of be with each other. Yeah, this table is real luxury. Uh, just, just ignore the boomers over there in, in the deck chairs and, and the people swimming watching you eat. I wish that he would post to me uh, this night. So what do you think? So at the minute, the series is still ongoing. It hasn't officially concluded yet, but I did a little bit of digging to see how Rose and Ed are actually doing at the minute. Shortly after this, Ed went onto TV to talk about the show. Nothing much of value there. Well, you have to know if she's engaged to a woman or not, right? I can't answer that. But on Rose's end, she has an Instagram account and on a live video, she went off talking about Ed. Ed, how dare you? How dare you? To make me embarrass, uh, in front of million people, he just uh, to be a famous. That's why he doing that. He did not give me any gifts except Brian Panty. You always embarrass me and be always quiet. I think our main gripe is that like while she's over in the Philippines, Ed's slapping up all the TV interviews and all the e fame, and nothing's really changed for her. She's also claiming that Ed never had any interest in talking to her and only dated her to get on the show to get himself exposure. Like I said, the show's still airing and apparently because of like legal contract stuff, Rose and Ed can't officially say where they are in the relationship. But you know what? I wish them the best. They seem incredibly adorable. You've got little Rose wanting all the money, little King Penguin Ed. It's a beautiful relationship. If you guys enjoyed, 
please subscribe to the channel. <laughs> Consider buying some epic merch. It tri it's very epic. Look at that. Look, bad design. It's epic. Also, a lot of you are probably wondering, why did it take you three weeks to make this video? We've actually been working on a long project since November, and that should be going up after this video. It is over two, two hours. hours. So, uh, it's actually longer than Petscop. It's the longest video I've uploaded onto the channel. So, uh, keep an eye out for that. Should be lit. Like Jesus. Thank you.